Hi, this is Max, and this is a video number one to demonstrate you the behavioral triggers of pullout widgets on the WordPress, uh, the plugin for WordPress. Uh, right now, I have a basic uh, 2010 theme with some dummy content and a sidebar. Uh, let's go to the widgets dashboard, and I'll drag a calendar widget into the pullout widgets container. Uh, now you you can drag this widget into any of the sidebars below, and it should work. It happens so that some custom themes don't always comply with the API standards, and something doesn't work exactly as it should. But uh, to be safe, the pullout widgets container works should work all the time. Well, let's turn this pullout widget on and click on pullout options. Now here we'll basically right now go into the styles and give this widget a desired width let's say 206 pixels I add some styles around the corners and borders um, I'll add an icon of a calendar uh, right there um, I'll what else do I do I'll mark it as my calendar and uh, let's go into the behaviors uh, the default behaviors that were included into the previous versions of the plugin were uh, the slide out on click and the mouse over. Uh, in, since version 2.0, I have added six more behaviors or triggers. So let's take a look at the uh, default on click behavior and I'll change the sliding speed to 450 milliseconds. Uh, and say, let's go back to the home page and refresh it. Here's our calendar, and if I click on it, it slides out. If I click somewhere else, it closes. Alright, so that's our on click behavior, and mouse over works the same. Let's refresh the page and hover my mouse over this tab, and it opens up. So that's the two behaviors that existed in previous versions of the plugin. Let's, let's review the new behaviors. Uh, the one that I'll review now is once when element appears on the screen. So the widget will slide out once when element appears on the screen. Let's select an element that we want to appear on the screen so it triggers the widget. How do we do that? Let's decide which element should trigger the pullout widget. I say let's take the comment section. Let's imagine that our calendar is not a calendar, but a prompt to a subscription campaign. Uh, something like that. Subscribe to your blog or subscribe to something else. So let's see. I'll open the uh, uh, this uh, development bar. Element, uh, what is it? Element detector or inspector. Element inspector in Google Chrome. And let's see. Uh, what's the ID for the comment section? The ID for the comment section actually comments. I'll copy that and paste it here as ID of the element and save. Now, let me close the element inspector and refresh the page. And now when I slide down and uh, when the comment section becomes visible on the screen, the widget should slide out. Let's see. Uh, so you can see the as soon as the comment section showed up on the screen, the calendar uh, pulled out. And since we chose option once, it doesn't matter how many times we slide up and down, the widget doesn't appear anymore. Now, if you're using the same widget on all pages, and even if we refresh the page, and slide down. It will be widget will be pulling out automatically all the time, but it's going to be only once when you load this page. Again, if you re reload the page, the action will, oh uh, the trigger will happen again. So you might want to use some conditional widgets uh, like advanced text widget to set conditions to for this widget to appear only on specific pages, so people don't see it every time, or use your uh, elements like IDs only on selected pages instead of throughout the website. This is the end of the video one and I'll show the rest of the behaviors 